giveaways. You probably heard me say before that you can use giveaways as an incentive for people to actually watch your streams. There's all sorts of stuff that you can give away without necessarily breaking the bank. But in today's video, I want to talk about how you run your giveaways. Because yes, the idea of free stuff might bring people to the stream, but once they're there, you have to grab their attention even more. And honestly, you can start by doing that just in the way that you run your giveaways. So let's bring your giveaways to the next level after this message from our sponsor. I've been yapping about Owned Pro for a while now, but now they got something new, a stream overlay maker. On the left, under stream design, you will see scene builder. And the choice here is kind of wild. Owned is known for having the biggest library of overlays on the internet. So let's pick this one. You get a preview of what it looks like. You can see your scenes, your alerts, your camera overlays. You're starting soon screens, your stinger transitions, and just click create scenes. Congrats, you have five scenes already created for you. Let's quickly edit the text by clicking on it. And this is the scene builder with a lot of options. This text seems to be in that folder. And now I can type whatever I want. Nice. Now click save and copy the overlay URL. In your broadcasting software, you want to add a browser source, paste the link that you just copied and adjust the size. We know it's 1920 by 1080 and click OK. Congrats, it was that easy to create your starting soon screen. Do the same with the rest of the scenes and your complete setup can be done in 10 minutes max. OwnPro offers a gazillion more options, but I'll let you check it out by going to own.gg slash pro. That is own3d.gg slash pro. All right, even though this is advice that can be applied on multiple platforms. We're going to focus on Twitch because I have some examples that are basically Twitch exclusive. There is one type of giveaway that maybe all of you know about, and it's the Gleam.io type of giveaway. You want to use this one when you're giving away something pretty significant and you're trying to grow a following on multiple platforms. If you're a Twitch streamer, I do not advise you use Gleam.io because first of all, people have to click on a different website and then it's going to ask them to go on multiple other websites and perform a bunch of actions, enter their emails and all that. We want to stay convenient when it comes to live streaming and and fun <laughs> Another method that is commonly used is through bots. I believe Stream Elements has a bot, Streamlabs has a bot, but I use Nightbot. And um, let's just let LiveGal level explain it to you. So you can use Nightbot to do giveaways, but they don't have to suck. <laughs> they don't have to be boring. The Hi. first giveaway type, so you come here, you click giveaway. The first giveaway type you're going to see is uh, active user. If people start typing in chat, it's going to add them to the eligibility list right there. Type chat, chat, type. There you go. And you can see. See what I did. It's populating it. You can also type exclamation mark winner and it will just immediately find a winner that is someone who's active in chat. If you're starting out, there's nothing wrong with doing giveaways in this manner, but just know that you can level up. The other giveaway type here is a keyword. So you can tell people to type a certain keyword like poop and then they can enter to become eligible. Chat, can you type the word poop? No exclamation mark. And you can see they're becoming eligible. And then basically, if you click roll it, it will pick someone. This is an example. This is an example. This is not a real giveaway. And it picked Pixie Bluey. Then we have my favorite type of giveaway. This one is also very common. It is easy work for you, the streamer, especially if you have a bunch of stuff to give away. You can just reset the word, reroll the giveaway, and then get it done. My favorite type of giveaway is the random number. Nightbot will ask your chat to guess a number between zero and whatever maximum you put. And it's my favorite because it creates a whole lot of chaos. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for Nightbot to actually pick the, um, the winner. And you can just vibe, put some loud music, and click roll it. Of course, my chat will be able to see the winning number. The giveaway has started to win. Enter a number between zero and 100. 100. Please, Nightbot. 100. Please 100. work this time. 130. Why is it not working the day that I'm trying to show something? And of course, when I was recording this as an example, it didn't work, but it usually works. It usually works, I swear. Basically, people will be spamming numbers in your chat while you're playing hype music and everyone is super excited. People getting competitive. People realizing they can count just from one to 100 until they find the number. It's pretty funny. And then the fact that Nightbot takes a little while before announcing the actual winner means that the giveaway stays a little bit longer even if someone finds it like immediately but it's usually like a couple minutes max if there's a lot of people in your chat it usually doesn't freeze forever <laughs> all right so to me bots are level one of giveaways level two is interactive games that are played directly in chat and of course with this description i'm talking about acted out excel in my opinion this is by far the best interactive game on twitch it is a game of charades here, live get level will explain. So we're about to play Act It Out, a game of charades. I'm going to pick a subject. You're not going to see what it is. And I'm going to try to explain it without saying the name, basically giving you a little hints. Anyone who can find it, you type it in chat and it will, the game will actually recognize it because it's connected to chat and you will win. 
question. The faster you guess the answer, the more points you get, and then you will be placed on a leaderboard. So right now, you're not going to be able to see, but I'm going to be picking a subject. Hello. Oh, easy clap. This was the game with custom questions, right? Oh, uh, yes, you can put qu custom questions. Thank you, Yuna. <laughs> Making this video very informative. So category is film, okay. animated film. I believe it is a Disney. And to not give it away too fast, I will say that it has to do with being honest. The moral of the story is being honest is always the best thing. Because if you lie, weird stuff happens. Let's go! <laughs> it was Pinocchio! <laughs> GG's. Indeed, and now you are also on the leaderboard. Since you found it faster than Close Games found the other answer, you, you get more points. So there's the option for the game to pick the subjects for you. You just have to pick them during a 10 second countdown. But there's also a custom entry where basically in between rounds, you just enter a subject that comes to your mind. Anything that your chat might be familiar with. If you are kind of a niche creator, you can come up with things that have to do with your own niche. Things that you know your chat will know. It can be anime characters. It can be video game characters. It can be a song from a video game. It can be, it can still be movies. TV, music, books, whatever you want. Now, Act It Out Excel is not free. It is currently about 10 bucks on Steam, but it goes on sale from time to time. Absolutely worth every single penny. Oh yes, the part that says Elgato on my stream, this is supposed to be where your camera goes. <laughs> and you don't have to just describe, you can sing, you can draw, you can act. It's really incredibly fun. Talking about games that you can play directly from chat, there's a game called Carts with Chat. And it's basically this Mario Kart type of game where people can type exclamation mark join, they will appear on screen, and then uh, the AI will basically race each other until they select the winner. During the race or even before the race, they can honk, they can also jump, making it still interactive while it's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what Carts is this? with Chat. Let me sit up. <laughs> How do I join? You can type exclamation mark join. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Carts with Chat. It is a video game connected Hi, to chat YouTube. where my oh, chat, my I chat is actually Sunday. here and they are Hi, getting YouTube. to participate in an automatic. Hi, a completely automated uh, cart match. A completely automatic cart race. Whoever wins, wins uh, the prize. <laughs> you can see uh, right now people press exclamation mark join to join and then they can exclamation mark honk and jump to show their excitement. Is everyone ready? Are you ready? There we go. Get level up front. This is not rigged whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen. Get level is a veteran of uh, racing. He did not put those boxes there. I don't know what you're talking about. Why, why would you accuse him of such things? Uh, Charms are right behind Riches here, fighting for first place with Get Level. Get Level seems to take in uh, a different path here, bringing him first once again. And Riches here is going to be slacking behind, taking the boost and successfully. Then, who is this handsome fella named Get Level? And Mean Mug seems to be finishing first and oh, this no, is it! Okay. This is it! Bobardi coming in second and get level third! How is he even allowed to race with them? Congratulations, Mean Mug is the winner! And you can see that they're on Very the little boy, thing here. Shame. Congrats everyone, thank you so much for participating. This is the final ranking. The game will post the ranking automatically in chat. Isn't that cool? So you get the top 10 in chat once you're done automatically without even having to touch that anything. Cool. So think of marbles on stream if <laughs> it was more fun. <laughs> no disrespect, no disrespect. I just don't, I'm not a big fan of marble, marbles on stream. Marbles on stream is something that you can also do for a giveaway. I think it creates more tension, more competition, more hype really, because you might give people that gambling feeling of watching their marble cross the finish line. But I absolutely prefer Carts with Chat because I get to commentate like it was an actual like Formula One race and it is so much fun. People get super excited after the first match and then lurkers start participating too. Carts with Chat is completely free, there will be a link in the description. Keeping the same vibe but way more chaotic, there's a game called King of the Pit. This one is also connected to your Twitch chat and it's basically a mosh pit. You have a bunch of NPC AI characters that that are gonna fight each other and chat can throw bottles in the middle of the match until there's finally one last person standing and that's your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is the mosh pit. Everyone types exclamation mark dance in order to participate. Registration will close automatically in a couple seconds and then everyone will mosh. Whoever is the last one standing wins the game, wins the giveaway. 10 seconds chat. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh no, I give y'all, you can throw bottles, exclamation mark bottle. <laughs> this is so violent. I also forgot to put, I forgot to put music.
Oh my god, it looks like it's between um, Tex, Camouflage Girl. Oh! Camouflage Girl wins. Congratulations. It will automatically tell you the winner in chat. This one is pretty cool if you tinker with it a little bit and you mind uh, the super loud sound effects. It makes for a pretty entertaining couple of rounds for a giveaway. Keeping it in chat, there's also words on stream that you can play. This one is pretty easy, although you will pick your winner based on how many points they can collect. Now it can be game over if your chat doesn't complete a level. So I like to go with three rounds and whoever has the most points after three rounds wins. It is an extremely simple game. It is basically a game of Scrabble. You get a bunch of letters on screen and you have to figure out a bunch of words that go with those letters. A bunch of, yeah. <laughs> Whoever gets the biggest words and the most words <laughs> will get more points. Finally, I have one that is not necessarily in chat. Yesterday, I played a game called What the Dub on Univity stream. And it's very much like a Jackbox kind of game. Basically, a clip of a movie will play with part of the dialogue muted and the participants have to come up with, you know, a funny dialogue to replace it. Welcome to What the Dub. Yeah, why not? The rules it's fun. are simple. Each round, a video will play with missing dialogue. Each player enters their wittiest replacement dub. Players watch mm. the dubs. Yeah. And vote on the best one. The yeah. player with the highest score at the end of the game wins. It's just that easy. Of course. This is a game called What the Dub, uh, where we watch a clip and all of us will dub it. Chat can vote the numbers. This is my confession. Wait, wait. If you're watching this tape, and the I'm funniest one wins. Dead. The immortal snail caught up to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're watching this tape. I'm probably dead. Do me a favor and delete my browser history and tell my Discord kitten I miss her. What did you think was the best? <laughs> Vote! Now here's why this is different from the other games. The other games you can play directly in chat. You don't have to go on another tab. You don't need another window or whatever. Meaning that people on mobile can absolutely participate with no issues whatsoever. Now in this game, if you want to be in the lobby as one of the people typing prompts, you will need to open another tab, basically to join a link, enter the passcode, and then you'll be part of the lobby playing. But that being said, when it comes to voting for your favorite lines, the chat can actually participate. They won't be able to submit a phrase, but they can vote. So you still get full chat interaction. Now now, of course, you're going to tell me, hey, mobile can open a different tab and then have, you know, picture in picture and all that. Yes, but it's not that convenient. What was that? And that's it. There's a gazillion ways to basically run a giveaway and get people kind of working for it. It will get them more competitive. It will get them more hype. They will get more energy and more adrenaline. And they will have a better memory of your live stream. Provided, of course, that you're being entertaining throughout the whole thing. You're commentating. You're actually hyping them up verbally. They not only get to win stuff for free, but they also get a good piece of your personality. And that's what's the most important thing about entertaining people on a live stream. That being said, if you want to win some free stuff, follow me on Twitch and I'll see you all later. Go out there, make me proud, get a level, out.